Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video is how to do a remote desktop connection from Windows 7 to Ubuntu 14.04. Now, in order to do a remote desktop connection, you're going to have to use a 2D desktop. You'll have to install a 2D desktop on Ubuntu 14.04, and this desktop will be visible to you when you do the remote desktop connection. The software used to do the remote desktop connection will not work correctly with a 3D desktop like Ubuntu Unity or like Linux Mint Cinnamon. Examples of 2D desktop would be the LXDE desktop, the XFCE desktop, and Mate, which is an alternative 2D install from Mint. This video is going to demonstrate how to install Mate in Ubuntu and then do the connection. The outcomes would be to install the Mate desktop environment, install and configure XRDP, verify the connection, configure XRDP to reconnect to the same session, and then verify a same session connection. Requirements, an Ubuntu desktop 14.04 with administrative privileges, an internet connection, a Windows 7 virtual guest is used, but it'll work with a Windows 8 computer, and I recommend two gigabytes of random access memory on the Ubuntu desktop. Now I'm using virtual machines and I'm finding that even with two gigabytes of RAM my Ubuntu desktop is slow. Additional info wiki.mate desktop org install. This info here GNOME Classic alike desktop for XRDP Mate desktop that's the one that I use that demonstrate how to do a same session install. And then you've got some other additional web pages that show how to install Mate 1.8. And my disclaimer is while I have researched this material, I can't fully verify that will work with all combinations of hardware and software. So I've included disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. The first step and getting Ubuntu 14.04 to be able to accept a remote desktop protocol connection is to install a 2D desktop for the remote desktop protocol connection. In this case, I'm going to be installing Mate. If you want to know where the name comes from, let's scroll all the way down here to the bottom. And it says the name Mate, pronounced Mate, comes from the Yerba Mate, a species of holly native of subtropical South America. Its leaves contain caffeine and are used to make infusions in a beverage called mate. So once that part's figured out, let's go and click on install. And then go down here where it says install guidelines. And then it's got Debian and a few other things, but I'm going to go to Ubuntu 14.04, and you'll notice that trusty THAR is, uh, THAR is spelled backwards with the H in the wrong place. This repo is not signed, and if you install an unsigned repo, then you have a security risk. However, this repository is packaged by the MATE team. Should you decide to use it, you may ignore the warning by entering Y when prompted with install these packages without verification. So let's add the repository. I'm going to add the repository for Mate, and this is it right here. I'm just going to copy it here. Copy, and then I've got a terminal open. I'm simply going to click paste here, hit enter. Ask for your password. Now, if you want to see what has happened with that command, I'm going to use a text editor called Vim. And if you just want to add or install Vim in your computer, all you have to do is apt get install Vim. And in my case, it's already installed, so it's just going to run through the setup there and then tell me it's already installed but I just want to show you how to install it. And the file that I'm going to use Vim on is etc. appsources.list. So I'm going to see what happened inside this file by using that command. 
and I'm just going to use Vim. apt sources dot list and then shift and capital G shift G with capital G and it's added some repositories trusty main extras ubuntu dot com ubuntu trusty main I think it's about four four lines down there at the bottom a comment there so that's what it's done there and to exit vim escape just to make sure you're in the right mode and then colon and then Q so I'm out of there so the next thing I need to do is do an update so that the uh, updates are pulled from the new sources dot list file sudo apt get update and that will take a minute or two. And once that's done, I'm going to install the desktop. I'm just going to go over here, sudo apt get install make desktop environment, and then do a paste here. Now I'm going to add one other item, and that is Mate notification daemon and basically I saw that a lot of websites that I uh, looked at use that notification daemon added that to your uh, Mate desktop environment now I couldn't find any information why that was done but my guess is that Ubuntu 14.04 uses Mate notification daemon 1.6 and there may be a newer version coming down available to the Mate desktop environment so go ahead and hit enter here and this is going to take a while if you notice I've made a spelling error or actually a keyboarding error so what I should do is hit the up arrow key and correct and I put an I so that I spell notification correctly and then hit enter and ask do I want to continue yes and then install these packages without verification and I'm going to put in a yes again and it's going to take a few minutes to install the packages and I'll come back when they're fully installed after about five or six minutes I've got uh, Mate desktop installed and that's pretty much it for getting that installed. In this section of the video I'm going to install XRDP, a remote desktop protocol server for Linux. To install it simply go sudo apt get install XRDP password if required and it takes about a minute or two to install it. Actually about a minute is all it should take. So now it's installed and now I have to configure Ubuntu 14.04 to use the Mate desktop whenever there is an RDP or remote desktop protocol connection and to do that I simply go echo Mate session and direct that to and create this file inside your home directory dot x session spelt correctly otherwise I'm not going to have correct file And if I want to check it out, I can use that Vim text editor, vim dot x session. And there it is, Mate session. Hit escape, colon, Q. And so I would do a sudo 
service XRDP restart. And so now I've got XRDP installed and configured. The next section I'm going to verify that it works. Here I have a Windows 7 machine on the left with the penguins and on the right I have an Ubuntu 14.04 desktop and what I'm going to do is connect this Windows machine to the Ubuntu machine. Before I do that I need to know the IP address of the Ubuntu 14.04 machine. To do that I could just use host name dash I capital I there and the IP address of the Ubuntu machine is 192.168.1.24 now of course both these machines are on the same LAN local area network which means that the first three numbers are the same for the Windows machine as for the Ubuntu machine that is the Windows first three are 192.168.1 so let's go and do a remote desktop connection and I have to put in that number 24 click connect and yes now here I have to enter the password and the username of the Ubuntu machine click OK now it says error problem connecting. Sometimes it takes two or three times to create a good connection. So this time it appears that I've got a good connection. This is what the Mate desktop looks like. Kind of similar to Ubuntu 10.04 if you've ever used Ubuntu 10.04. You've got your applications here, your system to shut down, and then you've got places here. So it's based on the GNOME 2. So I'm going to go to applications here and I'm going to go to office and start off LibreOffice and I'm going to show you uh, that this does not connect to the same session and then I'm going to configure XRDP so that it will connect to the same session so if I put in a you know test session and leave this here and close the connection, disconnect it, then open the session again, you'll see that I'm at a different session. So the next uh, section of this video will be how to configure XRDP so you can go back to the original session. This section was basically to verify that everything works. In this section I'm going to show you how to reconnect to the same session. Now I did not come up with this information. I got it from Griffin's IT library and that's listed as one of the additional info web pages at the beginning of this video. So what I have to do is go to edit the XRDP initialization file xrdp.ini and I'm using the Vim text editor but you can use it get it text editor I don't like to use the get it text editor to show people how to do something because sometimes it doesn't show spaces correctly and so I go to this section right here where it says XRDP1 I come down here to port and then if I key in an I that brings me into insert mode 
then I'm going to add ASK right here and leave the minus 1 still there. And that's the only change I need to make here. So then I hit escape to get out of insert mode and then colon right quit. Of course after I've done the initialization I have to restart XRDP so that's sudo service XRDP restart okay that's done next I'm going to verify that you can reconnect to the same session here on the left I've got my Windows 7 machine and on the right I've got my Ubuntu desktop running I have logged out of it if you need to you can log back in and make sure you've got the correct IP address because I'm using virtual machines Ubuntu 14.04 tends to run very slowly as a virtual machine so I've logged out of it to try and demonstrate how it normally would work so I go to start remote desktop connection same number as before connect click yes and if you notice this time I've got a minus one here so I will add my name my password and the first time I connect this minus one just leave it as a default now however when I connect there's going to be an IP port that flashes across the screen fairly quickly that you're going to have to catch I'm going to click OK now it's 5911 and here I'm going to open up an application and system program problem detected and let's go see what this problem is I suspect it's got something to do with the video because I've had all kinds of problems in virtual machines with the video I guess it's not going to show me the problem or it's going to take a long time for it to show up. Anyway, let me go up here to Applications, Office, I'm going to start Office, LibreOffice Writer. And I'm going to cancel any recovery. Click Yes. And I'm going to create a re and I'm going to call it uh, Test session XRDP and I'm just going to leave it open here and now since that's written in there I'm going to close the XRDP session click OK then go ahead do the remote desktop connection click connect yes username password and this time I'm going to add that port number 5911 click OK and here I am this time I'm coming back to the same session so that's pretty much it for doing a remote desktop connection from Windows 7 to Ubuntu 14.04. As you've noticed, I've used a Mate desktop instead of the regular Ubuntu desktop because XRDP doesn't work with 3D desktops. Thank you.